it's time to start seeing what makes a plan a plan or a view a view. Just because we named it lighting, that doesn't really mean it's lighting. Yeah, we've got the subdiscipline set for lighting and the discipline set for electrical, but how do we know we can't see mechanical equipment or duct or pipe or something like that? What I'd like to do is I want to go down to floor plan one power. So I'm going to click on level one power floor plan. We can probably see pipe or duct in here. I'm not sure, but let's see what makes this view a view. If we type VG for visibility graphic overrides, right here, this is what replaces your layers in AutoCAD. No longer are we dependent upon some convoluted layering system that was made up by someone that's appended to a color that goes to an actual external CTB file to plot. Boy, it's a relief those days are over. If we don't want to see air terminals, we turn off air terminals. I want to see all my cable tray stuff. I'm going to keep scrolling down. My ducts are all turned off. Electrical equipment and fixtures. This all looks pretty good. So when we scroll down, we can see that we can turn on, we can turn off certain items. That's perfect. But what line weights are these on? If I go to like roofs and drill in, you can see now that we have subcategories of many different items. Roofs have all these different subcategories. If we go to annotation categories, you won't see too many subcategories, but as we scroll down, we can see that we can turn annotations off as well. If we want to override how something looks in this view, for example, plumbing fixtures, yeah, I want to turn on plumbing fixtures, but you know what? I want to make them transparent, or I want to override the lines and make the color be some kind of shaded color. I can click Cancel. So you can do that without having to go in and make a new layer. Just say, okay, plumbing fixtures want to be kind of halftone. We could just come all the way down and just click on halftone right here. So we can show plumbing fixtures, but show them halftone. What awesome control we have. If we hit Cancel here, what I want to do is I want to control how this background looks. It's a little light. And depending on the plotter that you have, this could be really light or really dark. I'll show you what I recommend because, to be honest, the plotters at my work plot really light. So if I go to my Manage tab, and if I go to Additional Settings, and I go down to Halftone Underlay, this to me is a little bit too light. So what I like to personally do is set my weight to 1, and I crank up my halftone to 80%, and then I click OK. It darkens it up. For some people, this might be a little too dark. You might not get the contrast you're looking for. But for me and my plotters and my company, this is actually perfect. Now, what makes a line weight a line weight? Well, let's take a look. If we go to the Manage tab again, and let's go all the way down to Object Styles. Here's where it is. Our air terminals are a line weight of 4. So if we have a diffuser in projection, it's 4. If we go down to some other item, such as duct accessories, that's a four. Keep going down through floors. All these items, we can turn on a line weight if we're looking at it in elevation or if we're cutting a section through it. Here's where our line colors are and our line patterns. We can actually even add a material if we want. Now, coming back to line color, black is the new color because of the fact that Revit will plot in color. So our line colors are black. This can be off-putting to you as well. If you're coming from AutoCAD, you're used to different colors meaning different things. I like to get used to looking at my plan as if it was coming out of the plotter. If you don't like that, well then go ahead and change your line colors. There's no one saying you can't. You're not violating any BIM rule. When we get to plotting, I'll show you how to deal with this. Now, what is 431432? These go back to a certain chart. So I'm going to hit Cancel here. And I'm going to go back to my additional settings. Now I'm going to go down to Line Weights. Aha, this looks familiar. So we have Line Weight 1 through 16. And these are the common line weights that you see. Now, what's cool is if we reduce our scale significantly, Revit will reduce the line weight based on that scale. 
pretty neat. In AutoCAD, we used to just have to click one button called Scale Line Weights, and it cut them in half. Revit's a little smarter. Again, if you find that it's scaling them down too much, you can come in here and just simply change it. That's a hard thing to chase down. I find that it scales them down pretty well. I'm going to hit Cancel here. Now what I want to do is look at those view templates that we were looking at before. If we go to View, and if we come down here to View Templates, click the drop down and go to Manage View Templates. Now what this is, is this is the visibility graphic override for these templates. To me, there's too many in here. But for example, if we find Electrical Plan, now if we come over to VG Overrides Model and click Edit, this is what controls what we can turn on or off. What's nice is you can have a nice consistent format throughout your entire project. Because you can imagine someone's going to come in here and start turning stuff on and off. And after a while, you're not going to know what they turned on or off. No problem. So if you hit cancel there, hit cancel here, come down to floor plan level one. It got all screwed up. You can just right click. You can apply template properties. And then look, you can grab electrical plan and then click OK. Then it's all reconfigured for you and everything's back to the way you like it. One more thing you can do, if I right click on level one, and if I duplicate view, I can duplicate or duplicate with detailing. Duplicate will just copy the model. Duplicate with detailing will copy over any text or any annotations or any dimensions. So if I just click on duplicate, and I right click and I rename it and I call it level one model and hit OK, I can have this model to do anything I want with. For example, if level one is on a sheet that we plot with, we can go into level one model. We can turn anything on or off we want. We can put any text notes that we want. It'll never see the light of day or it'll never see a drawing sheet. If we delete something from the model in level one model, it won't show up in level one anymore because it's physically not in the project anymore. I hope that clears some things up. We're going to be going through every setting we just saw quite a bit throughout this course.